Alrighty, so dead ahead of us, there is something on the map that's marked like, it looks a lot like the quest ram, but not quite the quest ram. Do you see what I mean? And perhaps it's underground because I hear the sound of monsters back there. We, we could have possibly, oh, or maybe it's this. This looks like it might be it. Right. What could be here? What could be here? Possibly this. Alpha fur. Line your garments with the soft fur from the Alpha Yeti, keeping you safe from glaciers cold. Defeat the Snow Queen atop the Aurora Palace. Is this the Aurora Palace? Or maybe the Aurora Palace is in the middle. That's probably more likely the case. Is this the same sort of situation, though, where I have to kill everything that's in here before I can go and, and do that? This looks like it'll be a lot easier. Come here, you. I need to kill one of these myself. Y'all need to let me try to kill one myself, please. Ah! No, too late. I don't- are they gonna- are they gonna drop things if y'all keep killing them on my behalf? Whoa, that's a big one! Oh, that's the Alpha Yeti! I think the Alpha Yeti's dead. Good job, everyone. Excellent hustle. Uh, we got the Yeti her- fur. If it's all as easy as that, we might as well just advance around and kill all of them. Uh, but is it all as easy as that? It doesn't say. Die all four pieces of Arctic armor. That sounds like a fun time. Good job on your scaling efforts, y'all! Swoo wee I don't think it's going to spawn here. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. But if we take a look at the map, this is definitely the Arctic Fortress or somewhere over there. I'm going to think that this is a lot like the last big boss we fought and we have to kill all the big yetis first. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm a pretty good guesser of things. There be gold down there somewhere, uh, judging by the doly moly. Okay, right on. This should probably be something I look up. She is the final boss in the progression and has 250 health points. She spawns at the top of one of the towers in the Aurora Palace. During the battle, she will drift up and down on an ice cloud. The ice cloud acts as a shield for her so she can take melee damage when the cloud is on the floor or if the player is at the same height as her. Or she, can, she can't or she can only? She can only take damage if it's on the floor. She has two battle phases. In her first phase, she summons ice crystals. These mobs will distract the player and allow her to regenerate her health. So when she drops to 125, she will enter her second phase. In this phase, she extends her arms and shoots out snow from her hands. Oh, she's Elsa. Right on. Behold! I have come to slay your Yeti King! Die, monstrosity! I'm going to get a shot in on you this time! I, I don't guess that I will. Never mind. If you were wondering, he's dropping Alpha Yeti fur. Epic Shader Gra- I still don't know what these are about. We got some ice bombs and some more arctic fur. We're going to put all of that away. We need to talk to Sackenter about possibly creating some, s some lower skilled version of these soldiers so I actually have the chance to kill something every once in a while. Uh, in the past, what I've done is just told them to hold still while I go fight. And that's that's a solution, but it's a, only not a very good one. There's more gold over here. There's a lot of gold in the Twilight Forest. Have you all noticed that? We are approaching the edge of my handheld map, and I wonder if that means... We have to make another map. Does the map... I don't think the map's going to travel with us. Hopefully everything we ever need to know is within the bounds of this map, though. That would be really nice. I need to find a maze, and I think it might be on the map right now. I might be... I mean, I, I can't point at it. Because, you know, you wouldn't be able to see my hand. But I think I know which one is a maze. Hello, everyone. Look, I've already been through this several times. This is the cleanup crew here behind me. You have no chance at all whatsoever of defeating me just accept that the quicker you accept that the quicker this will be over for all of you it's just it's an inevitable fate that you're fighting here just give up all of you actually will die all of you they will kill all of you just given enough time if i stayed here they would render your species completely extinct i don't know what's happened to them to make them like this and I don't know if I want to ask any questions either. If they only fight baddies within my vicinity, does that make me responsible for the extinction of this species? If they do kill all of them, which is what they're trying to do right now? Now that is a wolf! That may well be a dire wolf! No, don't shoot at it, y'all. Stop. What, what are you shooting at? They're just shooting at other random things. I want to go... I want to go attempt to tame the... Mm, he looks angry. Yep, he is a winter wolf. He is dead. Some of you may fear that me traveling through the forest, being aided by these guys, might be a bit cheaty. Let me assure you, the fun part for me is just the progression and building cool things. And, uh, you know, my experience isn't being ruined at all. 
by the the aid that is being rendered to me. So if I'm happy, y'all should be happy. That's the way a dictatorship works. I just realized that at no point in this article did it say I needed to defeat all of these guys in order to fight the Snow Queen. Now, this is a, a pretty old version, though, of the mod that they have on the wiki here. So maybe this is a, a relatively recent addition. I'm not sure. But, oh, this guy's freaking out. He's dead. He's, he's already dead. They've already killed him. All right, well, with all of them dead, I'm going to leave that one alive. Perhaps he can find some kin and they can repopulate the forest lands. Uh, we're, we're, well, hopefully he doesn't repopulate the forest lands with kinfolk. That would, that would be a problem. Hopefully he can find someone from a different den, perhaps. Like this person out here. That seems like prime. What is, what is up with this guy? How is he spitting snow? How does that even work? Come on, let's go fight the big bad. It'll be an adventure. Hey, wait a second. Where is my compass? I need the compass, so if I ever need to reference back to some of these points in the future, uh, I can do so because the coordinates will be on my screen. Oh, no. I think I just crashed the game. I accidentally hit two buttons at once. I hit escape and one at the same time. Yep. That did it. Game's dead. We're back. Everything is loading in real slowly. Uh, my gosh. Why is this pack so potato? Excuse me, fellas. I need to get, uh, need to get to these. I'm gonna, gonna break these samples and, oh, I can't break the samples. Yeah, I can. There we go. I'm getting all this stuff. This stuff is, stuff is precious to me. Things are gonna be a bit laggy for a while. I, I do have 12 gigs of RAM assigned to this pack. 12 gigs! It's so much. It's too much, really. I, I don't think you should ever use that much. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're, we're really staying focused today. We're going to ascend to the... St oh, look at that. There's even a... There's a door. It's just... Look, they're waiting for us here. They've been preparing for visitors. All right. Do y'all want to go meet Elsa? Let's go see if she wants to build a snowman with us. Do you want to build an Elsa? That's not how the song goes. Come on, let's go and play an Aurora block. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone... I like this stuff. This stuff looks cool. Oh, man, I want a whole house built out of this stuff. I don't know what we do would do with that would be a bonus, but it looks pretty cool. Maybe if I give some to someone in town, they can manufacture some more of it for me. Oh, I dig it. Does it does, it, does the cha color change happen naturally? Is this two different types of block? It doesn't appear to be. Oh, man, every time anything hangs up now, I'm going to get a little bit panicky about it crashing. I saw something in here that looked like cake for a moment, and I got excited. It was just wolf chop and raw bat meat. Mmm, delicious. Let's head in. This is everything I could have hoped it would be. Completely empty, I might add. No monsters whatsoever. Hey, there's a chest there. Oh, gosh, what is this thing? It's an unstable ice something or another. Get it, guys. Guys, look out! Good lord! Oh, there's another one, y'all. Be careful. Be extremely careful. I'll let them deal with that. That sounds like a problem for them. I'll take that, and I'll take an ice bow. Ice bow? I'll take an ice bow. How, how ice of them to give me that? <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's not stay in here. This is an unsafe place. Let's just scale to the top of the tower. Get your get your climbing rope out. That's how they climb. I'm sure you folks realize that. We're, we're not going to approach this the correct way. Can I just say one more time how grateful I am that we got this tip for these climbing gloves? I don't know how far we would have made it by now. With the sheer amount of time, I would have died trying to climb up the inside of these towers without these climbing gloves. And I had to go back and try to get my stuff back, but my gosh. All right, so at the top of the tower, probably at that one there, is where we're going to find the big bad. I can't wait to fight the big bad. Oh, well, I've made a mistake. So is she inside of the tallest tower or inside of here? Let's just break into each tower separately and see if we find an ice queen. Elsa! She's not in this one, guys. Lots of penguins, though. My gosh, there are so many penguins. Hey, here's a question. Do penguins drop any sort of meat? We'll never know. That one just killed itself to get away from me in my meat expedition. I just I want to complete a meat expedition. Let's give this one a try. This one's probably where Elsa is. All right, let's see if we can get the drop on her. We'll come in from the roof, and she'll never see it coming. We'll just drop right on top of her and, and kill her in one shot. She's not in here, is she? There is no ice queen in here. Ooh, an enchanted ender bow? I don't know what that does. Get the ice bombs, the arctic hood. 
Arctic boots? What does this stuff do? No, it's not that great, is it? I think I have to dye all of those pieces. So maybe I can build the Arctic armor, or maybe I have to search through this palace in order to find all the different pieces. If that's the case, who knows if that'll ever happen. I'm just going to keep... Oh, there we go. We made it out the top. We can build the Arctic armor using Arctic fur. So that's good. We don't have to find it in here. So she wasn't inside of this tower. Possibly this one, though? Let's see. I find it weird that we're going to fight Elsa and she's inside of a house with the uh, Aurora block. Is that her? Hi there, you. Are you, you are you a snow princess? You're just a snow guardian. That's snow problem, am I right? Well, if there's a snow guardian, you'd think that means there's a snow princess, but there, there doesn't seem to be a snow princess in here. There's snow princess! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, everyone. Well, that was an explosion. Don't know what caused that. Hello? Oh, we've just dug through to the other side. Well, she's got to be in here, then. She's got to be. Where else would she be? Oh, there we go. All right, we found Elsa. She's down here, fellas. I, I don't know how much further, though. Once we get down here, there's no going back. Okay, I see her. She she's literally right beneath us. We do have a legitimate drop on her if we want to attack in that sort of manner. What I'm going to do, though... Because I'm going to try to get an angle where I can shoot her with the bow and arrow. Yeah, here we go. All right. Hello, Snow Princess. Hello, Elsa. Do you want to build a snowman with me? Do you, do you want to? Do you, come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. We used to be best buddies. Now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, come on. It doesn't have to be a snowman. Hey! No, dude! Hey, I, that was my kill! Oh, that, that was my kill! Dead gummit! I had her too. You guys saw. I would have killed her. Even if he hadn't jumped down there and done that. We're completely maxed out on space now. I think that's it. We can't carry anything more. If I get rid of these sticks, we can clear this packed ice. But what are we going to do with packed ice? What uses does it have? We can smelt it into water or turn it into water. Get out. Well, to bring the snow. What can we do with snow? Oh, useful things. I s well, n no, not even. What was that award we just got? Uh, oh, right. The clear skies one. And then we can dye all four pieces of the Arctic armor. Uh, we need to go find a maze, but we need to take a trip back to the house to unload some of this stuff. Or maybe not. Maybe we can just make a chest and unload it all. Ugh, did y'all hear that? I almost burped just then. As I opened my mouth, it just started. I was like, maybe we can unload it. <laughs> And then I, I felt awkward. Not awkward because of the burp, but just awkward inside in general because I don't think that was natural. Uh, I think that maybe, possibly, I'm dying. Let's -a go! Dun, da da dun! Dun, 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 da da! Oh, that's the Mario, Mario Odyssey. That's a, that's a great game. Highly recommended. Can't wait for the sequel. I had a really good idea for a Mario Odyssey sequel. It would be not only a sequel to Mario Odyssey, but also a sequel to Mario Galaxy. So it would be Mario Galaxy 3 and Mario Odyssey 2, and it would be called Mario Odyssey to the Stars. But the 2, instead of being a T-O, is a T-W-O, or just the number 2. So Mario Odyssey 2, the Stars, and then in brackets, Mario Galaxy 3. But then I don't think you need the brackets. Maybe to just sort of explain it to people when you're in the meeting and you're trying to explain what your game idea is, you might want to include the brackets. But the brackets aren't completely necessary. I think it's a brilliant idea. I think it's got some good legs. I, th I think you do really fly uh, all the way to the moon. Fly me to the moon. That is such a good idea. Mario Galaxy, or Mario Odyssey to the stars. Cappy's back. He's got an upgrade for uh, the ship that's going to give you the ability to uh, recycle your oxygen. Bowser's kidnapped Peach again, and he's, he's trying to rule the galaxy like he... It's, uh, it's going to have... Rosalina back in it again, or Rosalina, if you're so inclined and want to be wrong. This just, to me, seems like the perfect idea. It's an absolutely no-brainer. Uh, look, Nintendo, contact me if you need any brainstorming ideas. I'm full of them. What we're going to do is, rather than going back to the overworld to drop off my excess, which is what I was doing when I was fighting the Phantoms, I say we just build a something or something, something or another here. And we'll do it here. What do I have that I can just throw down for a couple of seconds? There we go. Get my chopping block out. Excellent. Uh, I was going to say something, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah. How much longer do I have with you guys? Another two days? 
we're good. I didn't bring a whole lot of money with me. So if we get into a situation, did I, did I keep that crafting table? Yes, I did. I am, I am a wise man. Do, 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 I'm trying to be very careful about what we take with us and what we don't. We could probably leave this up here. I mean, all of this is coming with us, so. All right. Nothing in here looks super essential besides maybe a bit of food. These bows are cool, but I don't even know what they do. What's an ender bow do? See, I don't know what an ice bow does either, or a tri bow. I have a feeling that one shoots three arrows, but we've got a lot of Baycox bow left, so let's hold on to that one. I'm looking on the map of what I think might be the maze, so let's go to it. When I say maze what i mean is the labyrinth because there's a lot of mazes in this game but there's one in particular that maybe isn't real but i'm almost positive it is and inside of it there is a minotaur and when we kill him isn't it part of one of our objectives craft the maze map after obtaining the focus from the labyrinth that's the what we're looking for is the labyrinth we got to go find the labyrinth also we got to make a median mushroom stew to and then do a hydra to feed the mighty hydra and empower yourself Breaking them. I don't know what those things do, but we'll figure that out later. So, is that it right there? I think that might be it. That, 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 that might be it right there. I think we've done it. Hot dog. See, what did I tell you? I don't know if this is the labyrinth, but this is certainly a labyrinth. Oh, we're not supposed to be up here. It doesn't like us being on the hedge. Guys, get out of the way. Can we break the hedge? What is damaging me right now? What is happening? Ah, attacking the, the hedge damages me. So, we are supposed to properly go through here the the correct way i guess good job everyone this is an odd collection of things i'll take those shears not sure about the melons we don't need pumpkin seeds or shrooms surely we have well i'll take the shrooms check this out we're gonna find the center of the maze uh possibly is there a center is there a thing in particular we're looking for get out of here you good job team what am i looking oh well that wasn't intentional my plan was to just hop over the top of the darn thing but that's not going to work. And we're going to get damaged if we spend a lot of time up here. Like, substantially damaged. There's no manticores here. There's not really anything here. I, I, let's just follow it like it's a proper maze, I suppose. We'll always stick to the right side. We're not trying to find our way out, though. What we're trying to do is find some epic loot. I think I've been in this room before. It's going to spawn a swarm spider. I don't think so. I, eh, part, of, part of one of my challenges is to kill a swarm. Guys, okay, come here. You're all doing your best, I know, but here's what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to, first off, let me handle this one by myself. I think I can handle the maze by myself. Everyone come out here. Let's just have a quick conversation. If anything bad happens, I have within me the full capability to, uh, to just jump right out, no problems. Climb over the hedge if I need to, no problems. So y'all all wait here, and I'll be right back. Come here, you. Hey! We did it! Which one was that? Right there! Buck Stomper! Good on us! What am I looking for in the hedge maze? Is there anything to find in the hedge maze? That doesn't appear to be. Ow! Whoa, hey, I'm trying to read a map here, mate. Calm down. Jeez. Oh, I did I get the same thing again? Bug Stomper. Well, what was the first one that I got? I have no idea. I thought, didn't I just get that? Is that the second time I've gotten that one? Is this the sort of thing that you can get multiple times? Okay, this thing has to go. These dogs are getting really annoying. Ah, they're back. Dead gummit. I'm not afraid to admit when I was wrong, and I was 100% wrong about this. Team, uh, we're in the wrong place. I did just look it up on the wiki. The labyrinth is very similar looking to the hedge maze on the map, but the hedge maze is slightly different colored than the labyrinth. I'm looking at it right now on the wiki, and I think that the one to the south of us might be what we're looking for. Possibly. So let's queue you all up. Let's get going again. Oh, we've only got a day left with them. We know. I mean, we might need to give them a bit of gold. Actually, we don't really need everyone with us. Okay. You know what? Let's take a single archer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replenish you for the next five days. There we go. 
And then a single swordsman. And I'll replenish you for the next five days. Uh, no, not the next ten days. That would be too much. Uh, there we go. The rest of them, when their time is done, can go home, I suppose. I'm making another couple of chests because the inventory is full again with just random things that I've collected. A lot of treasure to be had here. If nothing else, Twilight Forest, come by and visit. You'll leave with some extra stuff you never knew existed or that you needed. And honestly, you probably don't really need it. Okay, team, let's head off to the labyrinth, I guess. We're about to find out whether or not this is the labyrinth or a hedge maze any second now. Uh, where, it should be straight ahead of us. I'm not seeing anything, though, unless this is an underground thing. Is it? This is a structure here. This is, this is it. This has got to be it. I guess we're head underground. It's deep underground. Past the bedrock, but don't dig straight down. You'll regret that. Oh, well, we've reached better bedrock. And wouldn't you know it, no labyrinth here. We're not quite right on top of the spot, though. Maybe I should have done this sort of right here instead. But, uh, well, now, if we didn't hit anything there, it's unlikely there's going to be. Is it above us? Do we got to do something to activate it? Is it, is it? Oh. Well, Shrek me. This is just another hedge. I see another one on the map, but it looks, again, like another hedge. So that's probably not it. There's something in what looks like a brown region that looks like an upside-down castle. Is that anything? We the, the maze is the sort of the next big priority. I might swing up north and just survey the area a little bit, and if we don't see anything, just head back here. Well, not here, but head back to the base. We traveled up north and we found another Naga Fortress and what might be another hedge maze just north of it. I don't want to fight another Naga. There's nothing rewarding in it for me. I'm going to see if I can just slingshot right over this whole thing. Well, kind of. Uh, we did trigger the Naga, but I don't think it's going to follow us all the way out here. I'd more likely re uh, region. I'd more likely reason that it's just going to never acknowledge the fact that we went through there. It's going to pretend like we don't exist. This looks like another hedge maze. There's another one further north of that, though. Eventually, one of these is going to be what we're looking for. I don't know when, and in fact, I don't have proof of that. I wouldn't be willing to, to wager anything on it. All I've got right now is a fool's hope. See? Foolish hope. We have dropped real close, though, to what is a upside-down fortress. That seems interesting. And then there's a red thing over there. Ooh, that's a different color. It looks, still looks like a hedge maze, but maybe it's not a hedge maze. Maybe it's a labyrinth, eh? Maybe I've had it backwards the whole time, and the less colorful ones aren't the labyrinths, or the hedge mazes, but are, in fact, the labyrinths? Possibly? What is this over... Oh. Okay. Fortress in the sky. And then some sort of big block. Oh, gosh. Don't go here. Don't go here. Unsafe. Very unsafe. We aren't ready for whatever that is. Uh, it's very scary. Let's just keep going. I think we're about to come up on another hedge maze. Past that, though. What is that darker color thing? Oh, there's four of them. Probably signifying yet another realm. Yeah, this is a swamp. We've, we've known about these for a while. So, does that mean that this thing that we're rapidly approaching is, is not at all what we're looking for? We can we can continue to look, but it's probably just going to be a swamp maze instead of a, a hedge maze. And there's four of them, so we'll probably have to clear out all four of them. To, maybe it's not like it used to be. Maybe there's something different. I'm, I'm going back home. Oh, what? What? Did I? Where, how did I end up over here? I was not trying to go over here. I was trying to head back home. At what point did I end up going this direction? Well, that's a scary looking place. Let's not keep going that way. Let's let's head toward what I think is the correct direction. Yeah, we did, we're not supposed to be here. This is the acid rain again. Ah, uh, this isn't a safe space. I don't totally understand what the progression is moving forward, but I'll tell you what. I hope you folks have enjoyed the time that we have spent here in the Twilight Forest because moving forward, I am going to do my best to not have to come back here. Uh, and I'm not opposed to coming back here forever it's just i'm ready to spend some time in the overworld figuring out what's going on with all the patrons 
And then also continuing the, the proper progression tree, which I think next is building an engine, which we can do now because we have our reactor, which is inside of one of these chests. I'll take it back with me. Till next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Bye.